Why, hello. Welcome to Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Just loading it up right now. I, uh, I've done a couple of things in this game before. Um, I've been playing it a little bit, as you can tell. A couple things, one or two items. But let's go ahead and start a new game. Abstergo, no. My name is Cam. <clears throat> Haven't played for start to finish in a while. Goodness. that mysterious hooded figure. Okay, I'm trying, but everyone's in the way. You're not going to see a lot, unfortunately. Got him. Oh dear. That's a big ship. Ooh. I just got struck by lightning. Get him. Thank you, bitch. Oh, crap. Oh. Is it dangerous? Edward. Hmm? Privateering? Is it dangerous? Wouldn't pay so nice if it weren't. Why not sail with the King's Navy? Earn a proper wage? Sail under gentlemen? Sod the Navy's gentlemen. For every shilling I'd earn, the captain gets 600. That's no way to earn a fortune. We don't need a fortune. It's not about need, Caroline. I want food that don't make me sick. I want walls that hold back the wind. I want a decent life. H how long would you be gone with these privateers? A year, I reckon. Two at the most. All right. No more than two. Promise me. Oh, jeez. Oh, what happened? I blacked out. Oh, goodness. Uh. Wow, a lot of stuff is now on fire.
I'm still alive. Time to reach sore, my goodness. <laughs> oh, hey, look, you're still alive. Was it good for you as well? Havana. I must get to Havana. Well, I'll just build us another ship, will I? I can pay you. Isn't that the sound you pirates like best? One hundred Eskimos. Keep talking. Will you or won't you? You don't have that gold on you now, do you? <laughs> Bloody fucking pirates! What? Uh oh. <laughs> I'm on to you, Snakes B! <clears throat> Get back here. I wasn't done talking to you. Come on, mate. We're off to a bad start. It's a hundred leagues or more to Havana. Will you walk that distance? <clears throat> Got a nice little introductory area to show you what to do. This is Edward Kenway, Connor's uh, great grandfather. <clears throat> Hatham's dad. Synchronize. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. I forgot. I haven't played through Assassin's Creed 4 in a while. Posh git. Where's he running to? There he is. Follow and I'll kill you. Excuse me, where were you going? Want to get these while I'm here? <sighs> Sorry, this took me so long to do. I've been sick the past couple days, but <clears throat> I'm feeling better now. My voice is not nearly as bad as it could be, so let's do this, shall we? I am working on something with Elden Ring. Ow! Rude. Like how Edward just tanks it like, ow, dick.
got him. Dick. Senor Duncan Walpole, I accept your most generous offer and await your arrival with eagerness. If you truly possess the information we desire, we have the means to reward you handsomely. Though I will not know your face by sight, I believe I can recognize the costume made infamous by your secret order. Therefore, come to Havana in haste, and trust that you shall be welcomed as a drop. Su más humilde servidor, el gobernador Laureano Torres y Ayala. Mr. Walpole, let's collect your reward. I was talking about earlier, I am working on something because I do want to do a playthrough of Elden Ring at some point in time. I just have to work on what exactly I'm going to do, what I'm going to go for, etc. Because Elden Ring, kind of like Dark Souls, I do have to plan for it. Else I'm not going to enjoy the game as much. <laughs> also, I have to like want to play it because I know how difficult... Elden Ring, Dark Souls games can be. <clears throat> so, I like them. I just don't. Uh, I don't go into them blindly like other people like to do. Got him. Take my sugar. Take anything you like. Quick, after him. Got him. Anything you like. Oh, hush. You saved me. A profusion of thanks. Is that yours? It is my vessel, yes. But uh, here lies its poor captain, and I have no art for sailing. I can pilot her myself, no mind. You don't mean to abscond with my ship, do you? I'm Duncan. What's your name, friend? Steed, Steed Bonnet. Well, Mr. Bonnet, let this stay twixt us. But I'm on a secret errand for His Majesty the King, God save him, and I must get to Havana with speed. Ah, oh, that is a relief, sir. Havana is also my destination. Our ways lie together. Natural allies, then. Ah, oh, you put me at ease, sir. To think I took you for a pirate when you first appeared. Did you? Yes. <laughs> you have an uh, uncommon way of handling yourself. Quick and easy, if I may say. Gave me quite a fright. But, all things considered, I think it's turned out to be a rather fortuitous day, hasn't it?
Lacking a rowboat, I'm afraid we'll have to swim to my ship. Hardly the worst thing to happen. Treasure perhaps. <clears throat> <laughs> and up we go. Hello, friend. She'll take the wheel. Welcome aboard, Duncan. She's a modest schooner, but well suited to my purpose, trafficking cargo from my plantation and such. She'll do fine. There's a strong wind now. Let's strike to full, shall we? Puffs! Gallants! Royals! Studs! Ah, there's a tug of the wind at my hair. Ah, I find a bracing comfort in the feel and smell of the ocean. The raw stink of... of possibility. That's a top way of seeing it, mate. This is kind of like just showing you how to pilot a ship. We've really opened it up now, haven't we? <laughs> Although you kind of got a taste for it earlier. Those sailors were quite animated by the idea of pirates roaming these waters. Is it a real danger, do you suppose? A possibility. But most pirates stalk the windward passage between Cuba and Hispaniola. Oh, I see. Yes, that is a bustling strait. But I shouldn't worry about being waylaid by pirates, truth be told. My ship is small, and I have nothing of immense value. Sugarcane and its yields, molasses, rum, that sort of thing. <laughs> There's not a pirate living who turn his back on a keg of rum. Well, yes. Yes, I suppose that's true. <laughs> Reef the topsails and gallant. I must turn. Let's move. There we go. <clears throat> That's always fun to see. Sail out to sea. Let's do the thing. You're a natural sailor, Duncan. I did a decent trick at the helm some time ago. Two years before the mast as a privateer. Dash my buttons. Your life seems a grand one, if I may say. So full of adventure. How marvelous. I've seen my share of strangeness, I. Fantastic work. Very promising. Oh, thank you. Random modern day lady. <laughs> Welcome back. Well, your numbers look good. Now let's make sure we didn't break your brain, all right? I need you to move your head and look at these lights just here. Look up. That's it. Down. So far, so good. Let's get you up. What is this, Halo? <laughs> so, welcome to the Sample 17 project. Before you get started, you're gonna need this. There you go. Oh, thank you for putting it in my ear for me. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hello, bonjour. C'est bon? It works? Sigh, that's yes in Spanish. Right. <laughs> Let's take a walk. Your file says you've done some memory research before, but not to this extent, which is surprising. You're very good. The data streams are very stable.
Ah. Impressive, right? This building is barely six months old, but Abstergo Entertainment has been a studio for a few years, since 2010. Colonel Grandmother's mother was Asian. Sounds confusing. Maybe you saw Liberation? That was our first title powered by Animus Tech. That was just the tip of the iceberg. Soon, we'll be unveiling commercial Animus servers for the whole world to enjoy. They'll offer passive experiences, of course. Edited versions of real history. But only the exciting parts. And we think we found the perfect subject for our first full-length virtual feature. Caribbean Pirates. So that's your gig. Nice. It'll just take a minute, okay? Well, thank you, Nancy. Bon journée. C'est bon, c'était prêt. Magnifique. Merci. This is for you. The primary tool of our trade. Your communicator. <laughs> Power it up and give it a look. It's pretty slick. It's pretty slick, really. You might Can look at your stuff and whatnot. <clears throat> um the modern day is this kind of like open area where you can explore from first person. You're an unnamed employee. It's kind of boring, honestly. It's kind of the weaker part. Basically, from Assassin's Creed 4 onwards, it's kind of boring to be the modern day. Up until Origins. Origins brings back a <clears throat> single character, Layla. Um, but I probably won't do Origins till after Unity. I never did Liberation. I probably should do that, huh? Oh well. Let's continue. Seems a little light around here. That's because your communicator is your key to getting around. flashing wireless signal it means you're hooked up to the elevator I'll let you do the honors we're headed up to the sample 17 studio second floor I did it fancy you ready no let's go <laughs> There's the boss, Olivier Garneau, our CCO. I'll introduce you. Bonjour. Salut, mes amis. <laughs> Last time I was in Chicago. Last time I was in... Oh, pull on. Today. I haven't. Bonjour. What project? Sample 17, the Kenway line. Hey, then. Connor. Edward, the pirate. Ah, ar, yar, maybe. <laughs> Very exciting. Welcome aboard. Uh, Melanie, can we talk in your office for a minute? Just let me get this one settled and I'll see you in five minutes. C'est bon. Nice to meet you. Nice to so, meet you too. This is the sample 17 floor. We're diving into the memories <laughs> of one very generous donor. Yeah, I've, I've met that man before. I think it was in Chicago. We were in much different uh, talking terms. I will say no more. Desmond Miles. We're pulling all the best stuff from his DNA. And hopefully one day, we can forge some fantastic experiences from what we find in there. This pair of legs is John, one of the wizards in IT. He's just fixing something for you. Not fixing, calibrating. Calibrating, right. So here we are. All right, Garris. Our very own Animus workstation. This is all yours. So sit back, relax, and find us some good footage. If you need any hints or tips, the Animus is loaded with tutorial programs, so you'll have no problems. And I'll check in on you later. Happy pirating. All right. Well, let's go ahead and uh, do the thing, shall we? There's well, nothing really to do. Entertainment's proprietary ancestral memory research tool. If you have any questions, 
comments or concerns about how to operate your Animus console, please contact your project supervisor, Melanie LeMay. You have been registered as part of the Sample 17 project. Your primary research target is Edward James Kenway, born March 10, 1693, Swansea, Wales. Calibrations complete. All signs normal. All systems optimal. Extra neurotransmitters activated. Cool. <coughs> Welcome to Havana. <laughs> See someone you know. No, no, no. Just putting on a friendly face. I shouldn't want to be mistaken for a pirate again. Right. Flash rogue like yourself must be cautious. Yeah. Oh, Bonnet. You lovely man, you. Never change. <laughs> two years ago, isn't it? Here I am, bartering with Spaniards like they were my cousins. Nothing wrong, Duncan? No, it's nothing. Sand in my hand, this. So where's the best squad in town? I'm dying for a quick kip. Or a siesta, should I say. Um, I'm just headed to uh, a public house now to meet some merchants. I could, I could show you the way. Well, lead on. Uh, yes. Put the head on. It'd be a great relief to have a man of your stature nearby in case of a misunderstanding. I can hang about. I might have a drink. Spend it. <laughs> drink. <laughs> mm -hmm. But they don't take kindly to pirates here, do they? Wonder how many stolen reals bought these men this perch. Yeah. Hola, ladies. Greetings. You don't know these women, do you? No. They charge money for that kind of privilege. A few dozen reals for every hour of knowing. Keen to meet them. No. Goodness, no. I'm a, I'm a married man. Married man of their forte, mate. <laughs> they love married men. <laughs> Single women love married men. Personal defenses. I should acquire a blade for myself, Duncan, just as you have. This rusty raise is nothing to admire. Even so, I appear a mere kitten walking so close upon you. Perhaps a small dagger would suit me. Let's see what he's saying. Maybe I'll buy a sword too. We'll both jump rank. Oh, we'll be quite the pair, you and I. Twin devils. <laughs> <coughs> Lend us a few reals then. I did save your skin. Ah, uh, of course. Cheers. How do you fare? I had only enough for a small knife, sadly. Still, it'll do in a pinch. Oh, puff a duff. I have led us astray, Duncan. Oh, no matter. I'll get us a better view. What are we looking for? Uh, a tavern with a sort of courtyard interior. Okay. My goodness, you're an agile chap. Every finger's a fish hook. That's how you tell a true sailor. <laughs> yes, a fine way to put it. Up and up and up. Let's keep going. Place. We're not far. Hang tight. Don't stop what I do. I can't 
Stop or I'll break your knees when I catch you. Get back here. I'm close at heel, said bird. the wrong man mate a fellow with dangerous friends there we go where the hell did you guys come from King George, having a piss pot like you flying his flag. Oh! Oi! Skulk! I've seen your face before. You mates with them pirates down in Nassau. Shut your fucking gob or I'll fill it with shots, you hear me? <laughs> Edward, is it? Told you to shut up. trying to show me something but I'm doing too well sure how much that was going to work. Alright, 
right, now that I'm done with that, let's go ahead and do more missions. <clears throat> Something nice about Assassin's Creed 4 onwards is that now you can use viewpoints as fast travel points, which is super nice. Welcome change from before where they were just there to, you know, unfog the map. <clears throat> Understanding one heaped upon another. Ah, oh, Jesus. I'm sorry, mate. This is my doing. I'm only trying to keep these Spanish eyes off me. Oh, it's no bother. Regrettably, the soldiers confiscated my sugar for when you were dispatches. Ah! And where have they gone? Haven't the foggiest idea, I'm afraid. I suspect those chaps might, but my Spanish is we mal dad, so I, I'd rather not ask. Shit! All right, come on, let's follow them and recover my maps. And my sugar? What, in my drawers? We'll see what happens. <laughs> yes, yes, I know. You don't mind me tagging along, do you? Not if you keep quiet and stay out of sight. I believe I'm getting the hang of this. Quiet. I fear they're onto us. Hang back. Belom nevinum divimus. Perhaps we should split up to confuse them. It's the best idea you had today. <laughs> Buenos dias, senores. You're late. Yes, sir. See ya. We are very sorry. Our captain delayed us. This would be Captain Mendoza? Yes, sir. He is very excited. He must be present for a hanging. Hanging? I love a good hanging. Yes, very nice. Come on, you three. I'd love to. Especially if Captain Mendoza's pulling the trap. Man owes me money for the slaves I sold him. Of course, sir. Captain Mendoza is happy to pay you. We have goods to sell, sugars and such. Excellent. Yeah, fuck it. You saw nothing. <laughs> Track three people through walls, it's wonderful. Can't see them through my character though. <laughs> can see it through walls and everyone else, but if I move Edward in the way he can't I can't see him. I guess that makes sense, but still.
this hanging tape, man. I don't mean to hang about all day for the captain. Quick as anything, sir. Captain Mendoza needs only to hang the man, then he will deliver your payment. I don't want Bialis, mind. I want goods. Things I can sell. Tobacco, rum, sugar. See, si, see. Si. We have much fine sugar. Great, we took off a fat Englishman last night. <laughs> What are you doing? Why are you pushing me? Captain Mendoza will have it sent to you, I believe. You will see. Good lord. Is that big brute your Captain Mendoza? <laughs> no, sir. He is El Tiburon. El Tiburon, Governor Torres' man. I just have to follow this guy now. <clears throat> I'm gonna wait for those guys to pass real fast. Look at that. It's like I know what I'm doing. Since when did you happen to be in there, sir? I'll be fine. Fuck it. It's not that big of a deal. Again, like I said, I will try to get 100%, but I cannot guarantee anything. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
And up I go. If you want a stealth that completely, do better than I did. <laughs> Basically do that, but don't get caught by that first guy. <laughs> here to make a profit on my trip will you stay here long for a few weeks yes then back to Barbados to the tedium of domesticity don't settle for tedium sail for Nassau live life as you see fit <laughs> haven't I heard that Nassau is crawling with pirates seems a very tawdry place not tawdry liberated oh god that would be an adventure but no no I'm a husband and a father I have responsibilities Life can't be all pleasure and distraction, Duncan. Hey, our bonnet. The name's Edward, in truth. Duncan's only a handle. Ah. Secret name for your secret meeting with the governor. The governor, right. I think I've kept him waiting long enough. Oops. It's fine. It's whatever. I don't care anymore. Alright, I'm gonna pause. I'll stop the recording here and I'll start a new recording up here in a second. BRB.